Hello everyone, Caesar again. <laughs> and today I'm smoking my Peterson Billiard, very nice pipe. And I'm thinking about buying uh, a couple of more Petersons. Now I'm looking forward to uh, the ones that have the, the silver band around. They are very common on Peterson. It's uh, like a trademark in it. But I don't have one yet. I'm smoking uh, some morning light from Cornell and Dio. It is also called Boker. Here is an Oriental. And I must confess, it's my first Oriental. The first one I, I try. Very nice. It has a lot more perique than what, I'm, what I usually smoke. I usually smoke English mixtures and pure Virginias. There are some English mixtures that have some perique, but this one I taste a little bit more. And of course, I can taste more, more, more things too, more ingredients and components. But I don't want to do a review right now because. I can say this is my first bowl of this tobacco and I like to give my opinion and my review after I smoke a few bowls and I have uh, an opinion well formed. Anyway, um, actually this isn't my first bowl of this tobacco but you can say it is because I smoked it once a long time ago, long time I say um, many months ago and um, when I smoked it I didn't have a very nice experience so I put it aside and waited until uh, I feel better what happened was I smoked this tobacco with an empty stomach this tobacco has a medium strength, not, uh, it is not a strong tobacco, but I smoke mostly uh, light tobaccos that, that have, um, they're very mild. So when I smoked it with an empty stomach, the nicotine got to me and made me feel not, not so great. <laughs> I had to lay down, close my eyes for, for a few moments after smoking it because I, I, my body wasn't that, that much prepared to receive that amount of nicotine. So I said, oh, let's put this, tob this tobacco aside. Uh, I, I stored it in a, in a jar, a glass jar, and so it didn't get uh, dried or it didn't, the, the, the taste wasn't influenced by the time so today I just had lunch so I have my stomach full and I decided to give it a try again and it's very nice as I said it's the first oriental I try My first smoke of this tobacco, the, the, the very first smoke, uh, when I got dizzy, I knew it wasn't the, the tobacco's fault, it was my fault. But I decided to wait a while to try it again. And here I am enjoying it. I intend to, to try a lot more Orientals, to even compare with this one but I must confess right now I mean 
in this stage uh, of taste that, 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 that I am, I want to try more pure Virginias. I liked it a lot. I, I, I told you in a previous video that on this past year of 2013, I tried, uh, no, not tried, but I, I smoked some uh, pure Virginia flake. It was a Dunhill flake. And because it was a long time since I smoked one, when I smoked it, I said, man, this is awesome. <laughs> so I really, I really uh, enjoyed smoking that pure Virginia. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying some more. Um, if you guys have any ideas, please share. I already got some ideas and I'm thinking about ordering um, Capstan Blue Flake, of course. And because everyone is talking about it, uh, I'm thinking about buying some Squadron Leader. I just gotta see if the tobacconist I uh, some I normally order uh, has some in storage, and if the price is good. <laughs> so those of you who like Orientals also, please uh, tell me some good ones. Because so far I only know this one. I mean, I know all the ones from uh, reading and uh, reading reviews and stuff. But from experience, I only smoke this one. So if you guys know a good Oriental, share it also because then I'll I'll get all, uh, already the good ones. <laughs> So, enjoy your smokes, and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.